He'll take him in there, folks. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. This is your old pal, Josh Wolfman, here, howling at the moon. Uh, let me try this again. This is your old pal, Josh Wolfman, here again, howling at the moon. Sorry about that. And we're almost halfway done of the, uh, L.A. Norte. And let me get my handy dandy, um, uh, notebook. And let's see here. There we go. And, oh, and it's, uh, showtime. <laughs> because I got a little, uh, blowing in my nose. <laughs> because, uh, I got the stipples and I got allergies. place falls down and then they bulldoze it what gives here yeah what the fuck all right like I said Los Angeles I was married by a This is outrageous. Mm, nope. I received a clue. I'm an investigator, blah, blah, blah. Let's try to piece this together. That's not right. Oh, it's a wood thing. They don't quite fit. No. Keystone Films? Keystone. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? It is a cheap imitation. Son of a bitch!
Alright. Sorry, it's my clock. That's right, motherfucker. Keystone Films. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address Fire on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? North Wilton Place, huh? No, thank you, ma'am. Let's go to North Wilton Place. <laughs> All right, let's go to North Wilton. I like this music. Uh, is it really calming? Not, not today's music. It's not, not like violent and wild and brainwashing. Damn, Lord. Sorry. These kind of cars are uh, kind of antique like, but a little corny. And look at GMI back and neck. And let's see here. And now I'm, uh, I'm installing uh, Cyberpunk. Not a police cop. Not a police game. Past beats the future. Alright. No, 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 no. This is a good freaking car. Take yes, but it's dirty. And let's see here. You know, these kind of music may be a little sleepy sometimes. Because uh, it's soothing, relaxing. Very good. Oh, shit. Here at the building. Let's see here. That's a piece of junk. 
That's a piece of junk. They made LA Norway 2 like 30 years later into the 1970s. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. Alley so, development. I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been close since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban oh, Redevelopment yeah, right, Fund? Oh, yeah, right, bub. Nix. Mind if I take a look around? Nix. I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The gate? only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Santa Monica, huh? for the crimes. Let's see what he opened. Doctor's a bunghole. District Attorney Donald Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, 
I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Uh, that here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw oh, sorry, fast I'm enough for And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, oh, when will evil. the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders launched the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GIs. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. That doctor, doctor is District a bummer. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am... The Cajun accent, bastard. So this is where their lumber comes from? Is there a white pine? Damn. Keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then we're gonna miss some cough drops and... My investigation almost over. Alright. Operator, Los Hi. Angeles Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. 18 minutes. Putting you through now. Ooh, two beers. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Jack Fire Kelso, and Life. Huh? Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? Suburban? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Buckwalter. <laughs> Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Ms. Lichtman? Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Let's look good. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. All right. Off here to say, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, Mac. 
And this is going to be a short stream. I don't know why. Blue room. They were pretty good back in the day in the 40s. Come on, Phelps. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. Brave man. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa. I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Damn! Thank you. 